I was such an angry kid. I was fighting all the time. I, I just had so much anger inside of me and uh, got in a lot of trouble um, with so many different things. And now, it's, you know, once a week I get to go out there and have a license to act completely insane and crazy and hit people for a living. And I think that's a pretty good deal. On the field, he's a, a motor that just never stops, it's never ever stops. He's always going, he's always got that, uh, that work ethic, he always wants to make that play. That's his attitude, he gives 110% to, to whatever he's going after. And uh, that's, a, that's a drive of, of Rick. It's something that you, you can't stop. Um, when he's got his mindset on something, he's gonna go after it uh, until he, he gets it. You're just not going to outwork me, and I'm coming at you every play, and I'm going to keep doing that until God you know, tells me otherwise. And You say I'm intimidating and all this stuff. I don't know about that. I just know guys across me know it's coming. Definitely intimidates uh, the opponent with uh, his size, speed, and he's an opposing figure. Um, he's got all the tats, and he's a big guy. Quarterbacks know that uh, when he comes to get you, he's coming full tempo. Off the field, uh, he's, a, he's a sweetheart. He's uh, one of the most caring guys that, uh, that I know and uh, he's someone that's always got your back, uh, whether it's on the field or off the field. It's one of those traits for him that just translates uh, both ways. He does things in the community that uh, a lot of guys don't put the, the extra time into to, to take into heart. This is what our league is about, and this is what it's always been about. Ever since I was a, a little kid watching the Argonauts growing up, it's, it's always been about the, the community, the pinballs, the, the rockets, always coming back and, and, uh, and giving back to, to, to the community. And to, to see guys like Ricky, um, continue it and uh, hopefully influence other guys to do it. It's uh, something I think that's not only big for the Argonauts, but big for the CFL. Yes, sweet little Tiffany. Well, um, first of all, I don't want to take too much credit for her coming out here to Toronto. You know, Sunshine Foundation did an amazing job. The Argonauts did a great job. I'm just really thankful for them. I met him outside the Ryder store waiting for jerseys to be done in 2013. And he just walked up to us and started talking. It's pretty hard not to notice, you know, Tiffany, you know, uh, just the spirit or something about her. It's, you just notice her right away, and uh, she's just an amazing girl with an amazing spirit. Well, they're uh, very, very close and very connected, and uh, he's just doing his, his best to, to be there for her and, uh, and show him and uh, her, her and uh, her family uh, a lot of love and support. Yeah, I was a Foley fan at the time, but now I'm most like an Argus fan and a Foley fan. It's super humbling, like to think that there's you know a little girl out there who all she wants to do is just come watch me play and spend time with me in Toronto. Just a complete blessing in my life. It'll, you know, I won three Grey Cups, I've won some awards, and that'll be, you know, this past week will be right up there with those. You know, as one of the biggest experiences of my CFL career, something I always remember and. If I have my rings on display or if I have my trophies on display, um, you know, right beside it there'll be pictures and mementos from my Tiffany's trip to Toronto, you know, so that's how special it was to me.